everyone welcome to Billy home and creations this is Billy I wanted to get this quick video up today because um, my video for next Sunday is rather intense and it's a little time-consuming and it pertains resin and um, I've got it's rather a big it's several projects in one but it's rather it's rather big so for today I thought if I can and I've never tried this before I'm gonna take a coffee can it's just a regular old coffee can I peeled the label off I've got some jute good old jute I'm still trying to work on using that up and I have this ribbon which is um, some kind of basket weave ribbon here uh, again, I got this from a yard sale. When I see anything craftable <laughs> or to use in crafts, I'm I'm picking it up. You know, I think I paid three dollars for this huge roll. Now, this same idea will work with any kind of ribbon. And ribbon, uh, oh gosh, any kind of trim. But I'm just going to weave. I'm going to try weaving this coffee can and making either a plant holder which of course you would put plastic in or a dish to catch your water or just a cute little basket. So first thing I'm gonna do is paint this can. I don't want the silver to show through. So I went through my paints and I did find some, um, where are we here? The camera's high. Uh, folk art, coffee latte. It's a light brown. I just don't want the silver to come through. So I'm gonna quickly paint this coffee can. Now you can spray paint it, go out and spray paint it, but I thought, oh, I don't want spray, I don't wanna wait for spray paint to dry, right? So I'm just gonna um, use acrylic paints, they dry quickly, and then we can get started. So let me just pour a little, ooh, I took the wrong lid off, well, my squeeze lid. Let me just squeeze a little onto, these are my pallets. I use old uh, lids, plastic lids for pallets. I'm just going to squeeze a little on here and get going with a fairly large brush and I'm just going to paint this can. I think I'll put uh, felt on the bottom or whatever I have handy. I think I have more felt. So I'm just going to cover this up and we'll go from there. And I don't know if I turned you on. Yes, I did. Oh. Did I turn you on? <laughs> Oh, I used to turn people on, I think. That wasn't very nice to say, was it? But in the day, back in the day. Back in the day. So I was just, like I said, looking around my craft room thinking, what in the world can I do in a pinch so I don't leave you without a video this week? but I think you're gonna love next week's project. It'll probably take me the rest of this week to finish it. Initially, I thought about, you know, cutting it in half, part A or part one, part two, but I've done that on a few projects, but I don't wanna do that to you. But it would leave you guessing, wouldn't it? Yeah. I can probably do a couple quick coats on this. You don't have to be neat. Just slap it on. I must say this is not my original idea. Um, these are, you know, it would be original because of the, the supplies I'm using, I guess, but I see a lot of 
uh, people on Instagram who recycle cans and jars and oh it's right up my alley because I do like to recycle I find that rewarding and rather important if I can do a little bit I will but I'm fascinated with jars and bottles I don't know what it is about that um, my bookcases are full of jars with a lot of my crafting supplies in them because it's easy to see what you have and I, you're not spending a fortune on totes although I have spent a fortune on totes really like I said before I am an organized hoarder and I love my little craft room I'll tell you this has been a dream come true for me. So, let's see. I'm almost there. We'll let this sit. Let this sit a spell. And while it's drying, I'll cut a few of this jute rope. Heck, I might as well use up all the paint I poured out. I'm not going to worry about painting the bottom, but just for, I don't know, just for the heck of it, let me just cover this rim. I uh, do have a potted plant that will fit in here nicely. You know, it's just a smaller terracotta pot with the water tray, and it will fit in here. Well, now this measures like five, what did I say, um, or five, five inches across. So you can get a nice size pot in there, or you can put whatever your heart desires in here. Okay. Let's just let that set. All right, now if I can move it over here. Oh, here we go, paint all over. And once again, I put my paint brushes. I go... You know, do what I can to wipe most of the paint off. Put them in water with dish soap. And then I can clean them later. All right. That was supposed to be a nice, clean blue background. <laughs> okay. That's done. Actually, let me move this background. I'll just go back to my white one that's got paint and everything else on it already. There we go. You know, I love these puppy pads. These are the large ones, and I get them off of Amazon. Um, they're great for resining, painting, keeping your surfaces clean. And you can use them until they're quite filthy. Okay, get you out of the way. Now, here's some jute, and I believe, oh, this could have came from anywhere. Amazon, Michaels, uh, Walmart. Walmart's a good place to buy craft supplies. They're rather inexpensive. Now, I guess I should turn this over. I might have to redo the rim because I wasn't thinking. I want to see how... I can do it this way. I'm going to double them up, but I do need at least, oh, what am I looking at? Where's my ruler here? Billy, Billy. Okay, so this can is five and a half inches tall. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do 10 inch strips doubled up just to be safe. Okay, let me just do that. Where's the end of this? Here we go. So I'm just going to cut off a big chunk, make it easier. Cut up a chunk, Let's double it. Double it again. Double it again. 
Let's see. You do waste a little this way, but it's quicker. Let's get to 10 inches here. I wonder how much I have. Oh, I can get two. Actually, we'll have excess, so I'm just going to fold this in half again. Works out well. I'm going to keep the loops down at the bottom, the one with most of the loops. And we're going to cut. Let's see. So what do we have? We have one, two. Just get these. Three, four. You can start with that. couple of pieces we can still use those um, I'll cut more if I need be need to okay now my glue gun is ready to go but I am gonna flip this over and I'll probably get paper on the end let's just do this I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna eyeball and try to evenly space these pieces of jute. I hope I have enough. So I'm just going to eyeball. Disperse it evenly if I can. Move a few things. Get my glue gun over here. Use that to catch the drippings. Okay. So we're just going to start. Put a little glue down here. A daub. Stick that on there. Where's my little tool I use for this sort of thing? I don't want to burn my fingers. I don't have any of those finger saver things for hot glue. It would be handy to have. I've seen some people use them. Okay, now I'm just going to go straight across from there, best I can. Eyeball. Oh, oh, let me put you up just a little, little bit. Oops, sorry for the jerk. It's manual. Okay. Just gonna eyeball. Get a. Don't need that. Get a glob over here, and just go around and try to disperse this evenly. I want to get that pretty close together. Oh, come on, you. That down. Yeah, I have this little metal tool and it sure works to push um, hot wax or hot glue down. Okay, let's go to the other side. You know, it's really nice to have a Base where you can see what it is you actually have. I have not labeled my little plastic shoebox totes yet, but I can see pretty much through them. So that's helpful. Get these down. I'd like to have them maybe, oh, an inch apart. Because if I do more than that, I'll lose the... Um, you know, I'd lose the majority of that weaved ribbon I'm going to use. So, get that in there. A little tool, press it down. So, I'm going to continue doing this for a bit. Fold it in half. I'll try to divide our spaces here. Just like that. I haven't weaved anything since school. Or not even school. Remember those little kits you could get with the little plastic square weaver and you made pot holders. I think that's the only time I ever really weaved and I still have that little 
little thing, which is kind of neat. Might have to use that one day. Whoops. You know, I have an extra, another little coffee can. It's a little shorter. And in, if I have time today, I think I might try to uh, use some ribbon scraps I have and try to do it that way. Oh, I still think I might want to go in between. I think I will. I'll need to cut more juice. Juice, yeah. Need to cut more jute. And how about if I continue on and I'll get right back when I've got that done. Okay, I have that done. I think there's 16 or so groups of, is it still tacky? We can turn this over now. Still a little wet. I think I'm going to get my air dryer, my heat gun, and just heat this up a little bit. And you know I don't like the noise on that, so I'm pausing you. Okay, well, this will work. This will work. I was looking for uh, some large rubber bands I had, and I, who knows where they are, but I had this whole hair band, and you can use uh, a string or whatever it takes, but I'm going to get these out of our way just by putting this hair band on here. And go ahead, and I'm going to thread these up so we can weave without fighting. Whoops, well, I guess you could temporarily glue them. I thought this would be tighter. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to try to get these a little taut and out of our way. So I can, it might be easier to weave with this on there till we get to the top, like so. Make sure they're straight, they're somewhat straight. Got fingerprints there. And we'll adjust them as we go. Glasses would help me at this point. There we go. Oh, I need new glasses again. My eyes have changed and my old ones don't work. Now I'm wearing cheaters again. Gosh, looking through plastic is just a bugger. I don't like them. So I'm going to have to make an appointment with my eye doctor, get some new glasses. Although I finally am on Medicare, which is a blessing. Um, but I already got one pair of glasses through them, and I don't know how often I can get a pair. But anyway, the sad thing about that, you know, they're free, which is great. All us elderly people, most of us need glasses. But boy, you don't have much to choose from when it comes to frames. So I think I'll take my old glasses in and say, hook me up with some bifocals. I missed my bifocals. These cheaters, I have to hook them into my shirt, put them on and off, on and off. And you know how that is. It's rather a pain in the butt. All right, that's my grape for the day. No more graping. It's a good day. Oh my goodness, I had a good sleep last night. I think I slept from 9 to 9. I must have been tired. Let's see if this will help some. I think it will. Okay, I should put something down here to keep it from rolling. Let's see what I have. Don't worry about it. Okay, there we go.
that will work, right? That will work. Okay. Now, where's the seam on this coffee cup? There it is. I think I'm going to start. There's a seam. Here it is. Start with a seam right here. And oh, I'm going to have to cut strips of this. Let's see how big I need. What does that measure? Let's see. I think I measured around that and it was like 19 inches. Let's get a tape tape rule. Oh, well, 20 inches and then, then some. So I think I'm going to go 22 inches. So let me cut a few strips of this and I hope it doesn't fray. I'll have to make sure that's glued really well. Oh, there's two going at a time on this roll. All right. We're going to go 22 inches. Let me cut a few of these. Let's start with like six. Gives me a couple inches extra to play with. Get rid of that. Let me cut this end off. And I'll just... Do it this way. I have, oh my goodness, ribbon up the yin yang. Oh, and you know what I've been thinking? I'm not there yet. I'm not, I'm not there yet with YouTube, but I am, um, well, I'm going to ask you to please like and subscribe if you haven't done that. I'm at over 600 subscribers. And at 1,000, of course, I can uh, work on a, having Patreons. And I've been thinking, what could I do special for Patreons? Now, let me know if you like this idea. My thoughts are... Because I can't, I don't have the time, I don't think, to do lives and special premieres, or I'm not sure how that works yet either. But I'm thinking if, if I had some Patreons down the line, I hope to, um, I think I could do like a monthly drawing with my Patreons and let them choose from several, uh, Gifts I could send. I could send. Uh, I could send supplies. I could send yarn. I could send uh, some resin pieces. I could send other miscellaneous supplies, depending on what their interests are. Um, yeah, so that's been kind of going through my head. Like I said, I'm not there yet, but one day, one day I hope to qualify for that. But please give me your thoughts, if you wouldn't mind, on that sort of thing. Um, I think that would be fun to do. Just have a monthly drawing for my patrons every month and give away little gifts. So, there we go. And with that, I want to thank you for being a subscriber and being uh, with me through this. Oh, that one came unglued being with me through this journey of mine. I have to re-glue that one. I sure appreciate it. And I never mentioned this before, but I will go ahead and mention it. I'm not good at soliciting. I'm just not. But I do have a uh, buy me a coffee link in my description along with my affiliate links and my Amazon shop. Um, just saying it's there. If you find it in your heart to help me out a little bit. There, I'm not soliciting no more. There we go. Okay, now, I'm going to sit down and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I lost my seam again. Where is it? Here it is over here. So, those are in place. Now, I want to neatly glue these on and I know I'm going to have a seam and I know I'm probably going to have to cover it up one way or another 
So let's just start going over. You get a little bead of glue there and hope it sticks. Hope the paint doesn't cause a problem. I'm just going to get a little bead of glue right here. Stick that on right. I think I'll go, well, I'm going to go right on that lip. There's a little lip here. And I'm thinking maybe I should go right to the end or close to the end. All right. Ooh, that's going to come undone. So I need to put a little glue right on top of this little spot right there. Okay. Now, where's my little metal tool? Let me just press that down. Oh, oh it's stuck. There we go. I'm just going to weave in and out, over and under. Go around. Whoop. Over and under. Over and under. Over and under. Can you see me? it balances out right. I'm not sure if I should have had odd numbers. No, oh, there we go. Or even numbers, that works. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this taut. Get it down as far as I can get it. Pull it taut. Gonna need very many of these strips because they're pretty wide, aren't they? Put this other side down. Make it somewhat even. So I think we'll put a bit of jute on the rim there. Okay. So, there's my seam back here. Oh, there it is. I'm going to put a bead of glue here and try to butt this up. It's tight, okay, but butt that up evenly. is not a very good edge but okay there now I'm going to clip straight across if I can and we can trim this later if I have to like that okay it's overlapping a little and I don't mind that at all and I think it'll stay so now We'll get another piece. Run a bead of glue here. And, all right. So now this one is going to be under. Put that there as close as we can. Pull that taut. And continue around. That's under, so this will be over. And under. Over. And under. Let's see how that's going to look. Well, that'll look okay. I probably could have 
put more jute pieces across there, but I'll be happy with that. Wait, did I miss something? No, I didn't. It's this one under. And over. All right, now I'm going to stand this up and pull these jute pieces up a little bit. Press that down so it matches the one below it. doing that. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm just pulling these taut and kind of straight, but you can see better if it's this way. Looking looking at the side, I think you can see better. Pull that, push that down. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm thinking about this. that tight as tight as I can pull it around and then once again a little crooked push that to the edge I think it's as tight as I can go and then once again I'll take a bead of glue up a second so I can see. It's like a drum. Match those edges up. There, I'm going to hold that and go ahead and push these down. I'm not sure that the jute matches real well. You know, but I think it'll be cool. All right. I'm going to cut that. There. Pull these taut again. All right. Now I'm going to I'm going to keep going till we reach the top and that'll just be two more strips, I believe. So, when I get that done, I'll be right back. Okay, I went around all the way um, and I've pushed these wider pieces down as close to each other as I possibly could, which leaves us a gap at the top. Well, we'll cover that up. But for the time being, I believe I want to be sure these are straight vertically take a spot of glue I don't know if I should come over here I don't want to come over there I think I want to put a spot of glue right on the rim and glue all of those pieces of jute down and then we'll cover the edges so I'm just going to pull taut make sure that looks straight Press that down and go around the edges like this. I 
think that's straight. I'm eyeballing it again. Whoop. <laughs> Get that down. Can't pull too taunt or you'll pull the bottom loose. So just be careful with that part. And while I've been doing this, I'm trying to figure out how am I going to decorate this? Oh shoot, I was going to put handles on. Hmm. And now would be the time to do it while we're up here. Let me think about that a second. And I think while I stretched this around to make it tight, it narrowed the width a little bit because they're not lining up with the original piece. You know, anything will work, even a flat-edged screwdriver would work to help you push that down into the hot glue without burning yourselves. You don't want to burn. There we go. And if you use something metal, your hot, hot glue just peels off of there. So that's quite handy. I'm just going to go ahead and trim the tops of these off. Oh, excuse me. Let me sit down a minute. Get rid of that. That was useful. So let's just... I don't know if I can get close enough with these scissors and try again. There we go. Right at the rim, right at the edge. Okay, that's what we have thus far. What do you think? I'm kind of crooked in a few spots, but we can adjust a little bit. Um, I don't really care for this having gaps. So I think I'm going to go around with some jute and fill those in. What do you think? I think I'm going to... Looks a little... Eh. Yeah, I think I think we need to. And I've got the thick jute back. This big gigantic stuff. That's too much. But this is going to go around the top edge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue that around the top edge and the inside edge like that. So maybe we should do the inside edge first. Glue that in and then go around the top so they can meet up and look like it was actually planned that way. <laughs> Where's the end of this? I'm gonna throw it on the floor and just grab an end and slowly, boy, I don't know how many feet of this I had. 
quite a bit, I must say. Where did my end go? Here we go. All right. That's a bit frayed. Let me cut the tip of that. Cut it at a bit of an angle. Put a little glue on there so it doesn't unravel. Well, I'm working with it. If I had some pincher things that would help, I'll just use that. Pinch that closed. And it's at a bit of an angle. I should have went the other way. Yeah, I'm going to have to go this way. Here's my seam. We'll start here again. Okay. And let's just glue. I'm still not sure about handles because if I do handles I'll have to do it when we put the other wide piece around and secure it in there but I really don't think I want a handle I'll leave it plain you can always put a handle on if you like This is all guessing by golly. <laughs> Still part of the rim showing. I don't know that I want to do anything about that. I guess we'll be okay. See my dead end there. All right, now I cut this at an angle. Try to fit it in there neatly. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Hope I didn't go too short. Ah, oh, a little messy, Billy. up there didn't I look at that gap no oh, heck Let's see if I can't roll it over into that area there we go now I'll try to get that down Okay. Now before I do the other piece, I need to cut this. So I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife and I think the blade is quite dull. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is quite dull. It's broke on the tip. Let's get rid of that one. You know, put a piece of tape on this before you throw them away so no one gets jabbed. Just 
I just wrap tape around the, the blade a couple times. So it doesn't get anybody. Just like that. We're good to good to throw that out. Alright, I have I have to reach over here. I have a little drawer with uh, blades in it. See what I have left. Here we are. I have two. Two new ones. Hi, Annie. How are you, baby? You want to see what I'm up to, do you? Well, I'll try to open that. Okay, there's a blade. This one is a stick it in and screw it tight type. Some are different. Okay, let's get in there. Watch your face. Okay. Yeah, I got a good... Well, it wasn't a big deal, but my boss sent me to emergency one time at work. I had my exacto knife in... Which hand was it? I had my exacto knife in this hand, and I reached to grab something there, and I, oh, you can't even see the scar anymore. But boy, he was all in a tizzy, and oh, you need a tetanus shot. Oh gosh, all right, so I did. You need to move, Miss Love. I'm trying to work here, baby. If I can get a straight edge here, Annie, come on, go, go, go. Look up into the camera and see your pretty face. Just the top of your head. She's all gray. I need a little more blue right there too, by the way. Just noticed. Yeah, Annie's going on 16. She's my oldest baby. You know, I had two cats live to be 21 years old. And I had two other cats that live to be 19 years old. And the vet told me if they are street smart and have their immunizations, cats can live actually 30 years. So I'm just going to take one little piece at a time and just, there might be a gap. If not, if there is, we'll deal with it. Let's see if I can cut that. Unless it's glued down. Unless I just score it and get the scissors. When I had my career in the factory, we used a exact exacto knives were very uh, very well used in our jobs. I'm just gonna go scissors. We're gonna cover this somehow. Anyway, so maybe I won't worry about all of it, but I don't want it fraying. And it might. Let's just leave that alone for safety's sake. I don't want to ruin it right now. Okay. Oh my butt's getting sore. My back's getting sore. My mom used to say, <laughs> God bless you, mom. Pardon my, she used to say, I've got ascitis. Oh my God, what is that? It's when her butt hurt. That was the disease she claimed to call it, but. Okay. Let's get, number one, let's get the cat out of the road. Well, she ain't gonna move, but I don't need her to move yet. Here it is. All right. Now, I'm just gonna glue. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna be ugly or not. Well, 
Sometimes things are so ugly they're cute. Do you agree? Just sometimes. See, now I'm going to have to do a something on top. What could I put on top of there? Ooh, I wonder if I have some beads I could lay across the top. We could make it really gaudy if we wanted to. Heck, you might be thinking it's gaudy already. I'm beginning to wonder myself. Cut this piece off. Get a little glue on that. Yeah, it could be a little ugly. Could be a little ugly, but I'm the mind's spinning again. Hmm. Huh. We'll figure it out. Okay, now let me I don't know which if I should go from the bottom and do it that way. No. I know you won't be able to see me, but I'm just gonna try to oh here we go. I could try to glue it around like that. I don't want this to be extremely long. You know how my videos tend to be pretty darn long. I don't want you to miss anything. And I like to talk. Yeah, we're going to have a gap there. I think I have an idea. Okay. I think we're going to make this gaudy. It's just going to be gaudy. It's just going to be ugly. Ugly, ugly. we got to cover that up. Now would be the time if you wanted to put handles in. And then when you go around the edge, you could lock them in. Even if it was like... a. a couple of pieces of jute you could braid a piece of jute and you know hook them on like that or the f f wider jute or you could do anything really to make a handle you could could have actually put uh, holes in the can and we could have done the wire beaded handle and made made one big handle on this like the uh, Easter baskets were oh I have something else I need to ask you all we still have time, and you'll see this this week. Um, okay, I want to go into another collaboration with Claire's at Claire's Crafty Corner for Mother's Day, and oh, I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make yet. If you have any ideas, because the East was it the oh it was Valentine's. I did the beautiful flowers in that oval flower plaque and then for Easter I did the little characters in the oxagon which was or excuse me hexagon I always say oxagon but the hexagon and that was really cute Mother's Day I don't know what I could possibly do for Mother's Day so if you have any ideas huh, please let me know I'll try anything, right? Oh, which also leads me to, if there's something you'd like me to try, you know, feel free to suggest something because heaven knows I might have whatever we need to do it. We might be able to whip something together. Or if there's something you'd like to learn that you, you know, I mean, I'm, I can be pretty versatile as far as showing you different techniques or uh, ways of using different things you can always suggest that I'd be happy to see what you come up with and we can give it a go yeah we can just give it a go whether it be resin or anything else and there's uh, so many instructors out there there's some great instructors down there I also have a list of um, the channels that have really influenced me when I started learning about resin. And I did try my best to learn about resin before I ever started my channel. You might not 
<laughs> might not look that way, but I really did. I tried to learn as much as I could before I ever started to uh, get my channel together. Granted, there's a lot of things I'm trying, and we're not, not sure how they'll turn out, but I did try my best to learn how to work with resin. Okay, I'm done talking, Bill. Let's get that in there. All right. Now, see, we have this gap. It looks like a paint can. What can we put in the gap? Ooh, I think... Hmm. We could really... Yeah, I think I have an idea. Now, these sorts of things are sort of planned out, but really not, because it's all guessing by golly. All right, this one came undone. So, we're going to glue that down again. It's the same one. And uh, we could wrap jute on the bottom, completely cover the bottom with jute. But this is a thin jute. It would take forever. The thick jute would be oh, too much, I think. So maybe we'll just do... Maybe I'll just do felt. You could just use felt or that... Um, what is that foam? Fun foam? Fun foam. Yeah, because we're going to have to seal those in anyway. All right. Now, back to this. Let's go... My seam. Let me go around this bottom edge and we'll use the thick. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. I'm second guessing. I'm sorry that happens. Sometimes. Where's the edge of my rope again? Okay. Here we go. Pinch that together. But sometimes if you cut this at an angle, it's easier to join up with the other piece once you go around. I told myself, oh, this is going to be a quick, easy, fast project that I can edit and upload today for tomorrow. It's still my plan. Still my plan. It's taking longer than I expected. That's all right. I'm in the zone. Let's start there. Cover that up. Oh, maybe I should do the felt first. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to take a break for a minute. And, um... I will be right back, okay? Thanks for watching. Let me get my act together here and I'll be right back. Okay, break time's over. I have to say, sometimes it's, sometimes you just need to walk away from your project. Um, let your imagination start working for you. And um, sometimes the answers will come. So on my little break, I was thinking about how to finish the top, what kind of supplies I had available, um, how am I going to fix this seam, and how many, what I'm going to do on the bottom, and it all came into place. So, first of all, the top. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hot glue another bit of the thick jute around the top. So let me go ahead and do that. That's the first thing I'm going to finish, is the top. So, with my big cord here, big jute, I'm going to just start at the seam and go around the edge. Cover all that gap. Different ideas came to my head, but I like this one the best. I like this one the best, and I'm going to turn that up so... Little bevel is up so I can join it without having a 
eyesore there and this is just going to cover all that glue and the raw edge so I'm going to be quite happy with that okay let's see to push my new stick in a little bit. There we go. Grab on. Let's go. Talking to a glue gun. No time to dilly-dally. There we are. That little rubber piece has to grab on there. Let's get that on. Okay. Sweet and simple. Well, you're not working for me. Come on, you. I've had this glue gun quite some time. It's a good one. Oh, my goodness. Here, let me get you started. Here we are, I think. Oh. Maybe that little rubber piece that's there we are. Pulls it down is sticking. Ooh, I've got extra glue there. We'll pull that off. Clean that up. Let's finish this. You're not going to work for me. Come on. Don't fail me now. You're all I have here. All right. And we'll clean that off. I probably put a little too much or was a little sloppy, but that's okay. It's not going to go anywhere after this, is it? It just doesn't want to cooperate. Here, close. Trim that. Like about there, I'm hoping. Whoop. A little too much. Oh, that might fray. Push that down. Oh, I'm no wonder I'm too far away from my edge. Take a little more off. Whew. Ooh, that was pretty close. Okay, we're good to go, I believe. Tuck that in. That's good. All right, where's my little tool? All right, so I'm saying my top is done, except for a little cleanup here. All right, now, as far as these gaps go, I am going to go ahead with my thinner jute, and I'm going to go and glue all around these edges like that. Now I've got to try to be very neat or I'll really, unless I just go from this to that, to maybe I'll just do little points and uh, be able to be pretty neat. This isn't one of those uh, very small tipped glue guns. I've seen some of those and they look pretty nice. But if I can just tack it Right here should be okay. All right, I'm going to do that.
Actually, I should glue the whole thing. Let me just glue the whole thing and try to be careful. It's a very thin amount. Yeah, I just didn't like those gaps there. So we can clean up the excess glue shortly. This will take a while. So I will pause you and keep on going, okay? Oh, where's my button? There we go. Okay, I'm done with that, and I like it a lot better. It looks a little more polished. This one's a little crooked. Looks a little more finished and polished. So now, I like it. Looks like brick, straw brick. Anyway, let's turn this over. Now, I mentioned felt before, and you could do felt, but if you chose to do felt because of the ripples in the can, I would suggest that you cut a round piece of cardboard that fits, cover your cardboard board with the felt, and then glue it to the bottom. I'm not going to use cardboard. I mean, well, I'm not going to use cardboard, and I'm not going to use felt. So, move a couple of things. Before I get started, though, because these are bulky, I'm going to pop these up now and cut them off. Because they'll just make it a little tougher on putting on our bottom. And hot glue and, and this tin doesn't, you know, it doesn't glue, glue to each other the best. So we're just going to cut those off. And that will be hidden also. So let's just go ahead, peel these up. I mean, they're sticking, but if we want to put a bottom on it, we want to have it smooth, not lumpy. We should be okay. It's good for the fingernails. Mmm, well, that one's stuck. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of it. Where's my little tool? Pop that off. It probably wouldn't have mattered if I wanted, you know, done a neater job and it wasn't globs. But it's globs, so we're going to get rid of it. Because the rest of it's secured in already, so we don't need to worry. Whoops, take my finger off. Come on, you pop up. Okay, now I'm going to cut as close to the bottom edge as I can. Just go around here and hold it. Clip it. Now if you want, we could go around and tack that down on the sides. I think we can worry about that in a little bit. Cut those off. It's almost satisfying, huh? Couple more. Okay. It's garbage. Pardon the messy. Pardon the messy surface. Uh, I'd feel better maybe if I tack that down, but we're going to tack it down anyway. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, what we're going to use for the bottom. Uh -huh, I came across. A big sheet of cork. Now, I bought this cork, I believe, at Michael's. And it's quite thin. It's like three-eighths or maybe an eighth of an inch thin. But when I brought it home, I realized 
it didn't have the sticky part on the back. And I use cork a lot for my coasters. Anyway, we're going to use this piece. I'm just going to set my can down. Trace around that outside edge. Pan's all right. I'm just going to cut a circle. And use this up. But yeah, if you get your cork, it's a lot easier with the sticky back where you peel the paper off. Um, but I still, even though I've used that kind, I still glue it down. So let's just cut this out. Let me set something on there. Okay. Just cut this out. We'll use cork. And this will probably uh, cover up those ripples in the tin can. Okay. Get rid of that. Well, I'm using things up. That's definitely for sure, isn't it? And I'm just going to try. If it's if I overcut, or it, I can always trim it later. We're just going to get the initial size of this cut out. And I'm going to use good old E6000. Okay, there. So let me go a bit hog, hog wild with this glue, and I always seems like I have to get my pliers to open these caps because they get stuck on. This one's almost empty. Get that off of there. Okay. I use my pliers too to roll, you know, squeeze that down. Then you can roll it up and you're not wasting too much glue. I think I'll do a section at a time. Let's just go over here. Come on, baby. I want to get to the edge, but I'm going to take a pop stick. This takes a while to dry. I'm sure you've used it before, uh, but it does get um, pretty jello-y right off the get-go. So I want to do it in smaller areas at a time. Start here. And shoot. I wasn't thinking I should have made that cork piece smaller. Where is it? Well, we can always go in and... Well, I want it over. I do want it over the edge. So I can cover that edge. There's a bit of an indentation, but it's not going to be as bad as it would have been with felt. Actually, I could put something under that rim. Actually, I wasn't thinking about that. But heck, it's a coffee can. It's a coffee can basket. We'll be all right. So I learned a lesson. Still need something under there to 
make that even, you know, solid and even. Whoops. Come on, get back up there. I should find, go find a big rock or something to put in there to let it dry. So I'll finish gluing this, let it dry, and I'll be back, okay? Okay, that's setting up nicely. So let's go ahead back to the big jute. We're going to go around the bottom edge and catch the cork and this ribbon. So, and we can straighten these as we go. How's that? Here's the seam. Move that out of the way a second. And we will start by laying that straight and covering both. Now, oh, that, that's going to blister. I can see it already. Okay. That's what you get with hot glue sometimes. Now, let me show you. Let me sit down and show you how we're going to finish this seam. Okay. I went to digging again. And I came across... Something natural. Let me glue this a little bit here. I've got to fix this area while I see it. I was thinking I wanted something that looked natural that would go with jute. Okay, I'm holding that. I found a bunch of beads. Look at these. These are smaller wooden beads. Smaller wooden beads. And we are going to make flowers. Look at that. Now this is a thinner twine I had. I could have used wire. But uh, very simply, let me cut these strings off. We're going to glue these on. I found some of these green ones that look like we'll use as stems possibly or leaves and I think I'll make just one more flower and see how three looks groups of threes all right so I took a piece about oh foot long what we're going to do is just thread six of these brown ones on here Six. I'm just going to tie a knot. Tie those into a circle. Like that. See me? Well, I can't see the camera to see where we're at. Anyway, I'm just going to tie a knot. Then take the longer one. That's your best bet. We're going to put a yellow bead right there on that longer piece and slip it right into the middle like that. We're just going to go around and tie this tight. Just a double knot. I can get it. Not too tightly but tight enough to hold that yellow one in the middle. We'll, we'll be gluing it using that yellow one anyway. But there we have three flowers. 
this off. And let's see how we're going to place them. Okay. Let's get these over here. Now. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Where's the seam? There's the seam. So. I'm thinking. We put. We put one flower on the top. Over the seam. We can come down with these green beads. And cover the seam there. Like that. And these are all the green that I have. So let's just start there. Let's see how many green will fit. There's one, two. Could have gaps. I don't know that I want a gap though. I could string them and glue them. That might be better yet, because we're going to have that lump to go over. One, two, let's see. Three. We only be able to fit four on there. If that's the case, we'll have to lower our flower. Which would be okay. Well, I'm just going to glue. I'm just going to glue these down as close to each other as I can. Right across the seam. Put it, put it up against that jute. I could if I had little green ones, which I don't know that I do. I don't think so. Because I could put some smaller ones in the gaps, but I don't, I have these. Yeah, a few green ones in there. I don't think we're going to worry about it. Let's just go. We'll just go over that lumpy piece best we can. If I can make that look like it's joined. It's popping up a little. Maybe I should glue it to the other one, right? Let's get a little glue on that. See if that helps. We'll peel off the excess. There we go. That's better. Let that set up a second. Like that. Come on, stick to yourselves. Pop up. All right, best we can do. Let's. I think another green one will fit in there just right. Stick my finger in it again, just like that. It'll be a straight stem, that's for sure. But we've got to cover that seam up. Get rid of that glue. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. So that's good. Let's do one more. that up without a big glob. Oh, there'll be a gap. Try to squeeze it together. We should be okay. See, how's that looking? I think it's looking pretty good. Really? Now, 
We've still got space. We still have space there. So what to do, what to do with that? We could come down. We could come down with that. Put that right there. But we still have that little bit of a seam. But I don't think you can see that too badly. What are your thoughts? Let's see. Do I grab one of those little green ones that I saw? Let's do it. They're brighter. Oh, here's a dull one. Dull green. Yes, let's put that there. Fill in that little gap. That'll work. No one will be the wiser except you and I. Okay. Now, how's that going to fit? Oh, yay. Okay. So we're going to put a dab of glue there, a dab of glue there. Let's just flip it over and do... And get rid of that knot piece. I didn't cut that very good. That'll help hold it. Let's see, should we just glue up, glue it with the twine or should we glue it with the beads? Should we go that way? Let's see the knot there. Let's put the knot down there. Okay, we're gonna go these three straight across. Well, we can do it this way. And hold that. Hey, there we are. Pretty. Okay. I like that. Press that down. Now, I have a few more green pieces left to where we can come off. There's room for a flower there. And there'll be room for a flower there. Well, I think that's great. Okay, let's do it. Let's put a little glue here. Bring this one out like a stem. And we can put glue on all of those, each one of these beads. Or at least five, so I don't burn myself. And we'll go just like that. Oh, I like it. There we go. That's pretty nifty. Okay, now let's do one about there. Ooh, lots of glue. Okay, get that in there. And we'll do the same. We'll go around each bead here and the middle. Let's see where that will fit. Right about there. Okay, there it is. There is a coffee can with a new take on it. I have two more green leaves. I wonder if we should put a little bud somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I have round green ones. I don't. All right, let's leave it at that. There you go, everyone. <laughs> okay. Now, we can put a plant in that. We can put uh, fake flowers in there. Or, uh, God, just a nice catch-all. Throw your change in it. All right, I'll take a nice still. Thank you for watching this today with me. And like I said, this is going to... Uh, be up for 
Sunday, which would be today. And um, next week, I've got some a beautiful project. Well, there's four of them all together with resin. I'll get back to you on that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Take good care. I'm sending big hugs. Bye.